yeah you know? i think you know like rather doing like you know rather reading articles or yeah like doing the but using materials i guess yeah, yeah. The conversation is also okay because you know i believe like you know it, because it is a, english is a language right and you yeah. know language you have For to living, speak a lot yeah right? exactly yeah. and you know you can read a book by yourself you can listen to a podcast by yourself. You can yes. do some exercise in a book by yourself. But this is the unique thing about Cambly. You get to talk to a real person, which is a exactly. real test of your listening, your speaking, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm, you know, I'm meeting a completely new person that I've never met before, right? And we and now we're, I'm, I'm talking in English for... <laughs> You know, I have to, I must, you know, talk in English for 30 minutes, right? Like there's, no, there's no English teacher. So yeah, I think yeah. It, is, it is really good. And also like, it you know, is. articles, I, I can also read English articles by myself, you know, after the class, yeah. you know, going to the, you know, I can find a lot of English articles on the yeah. internet, right? So yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah, the other thing is, you know, with just talking, I think it's great for all the reasons we said, but the, the only the downside, the negative thing is that maybe you don't learn enough vocabulary, but oh, you know, yeah. you can do that yourself, honestly, right? Exactly. Or maybe we can try to talk about the things that, you know, we, like people usually don't talk, like maybe it could be a specific subject. So yeah, yeah that's a good it, idea we, as well. Yeah. So if I want to specialize in vocabulary, we can also do that. Yeah, the, who's a topic? Know, through, yeah, through conversation, through like, you know, rare topics, right? So I yeah, guess, some of some. That's what I do. That's actually exactly what I do with a lot of my students. They choose a topic like art or a sport or something, politics or something, and then we stay on that topic for the next sort of four classes. So so they practice vocab. We do a little bit of reading just to get ideas and vocab but then we stay on that theme that topic it's a really good idea yeah yeah, yeah exactly. so listen your english is so good oh really so, yeah really good especially for your age really oh, good so thank you how do you manage at school because are you ahead of the class uh, what do you do at school in english so in school uh we're learning you know english uh, grammar and you know english vocab so that's what i that's how i learn english in school but right yeah and i'm just yeah following the english class i was but you know but it's not that boring yeah it is okay yeah i yeah. still enjoy english class but i enjoy english more when i'm studying by myself like when i'm yeah. watching uh, english youtube videos or when i'm listening to english podcasts yeah. yeah, I guess those are more interesting because I can always choose a topic that I want to listen or if I'm if I want to speak about maybe Sorry. if I'm... I've got I've got a massive it's going it's going black outside. We have a massive storm overhead. I can hear the starting. Oh, oh my see, god. It's it's going dark. When I <laughs> when I opened the classroom it was quite light and bright and it is literally going black outside. Yeah, storm. that is Crazy terrible. Weather. Like, maybe, Crazy yeah. weather. Sometimes yeah. you feel scared, right? Because, like, you know, when there's a huge storm, like the windows start to shake yeah, really and hard, right? And sometimes here in Bali, when you get the thunderstorms, the thunder is so loud, it, it, it deafens you, you know. Oh, oh and actually, God. if it does start bad, I'll unplug from the power because it's actually quite dangerous to be, you know, plugged in and touching your laptop when it's this kind of electrical storm yeah yeah it's we've had crazy weather recently really really big storms oh yeah. is there a is there usually a huge storm like in in the Bali? we we do because it's, tro it's tropical right oh. it's a tropical climate but the climate is changing so much it used to be six months there are no four seasons here because it's tropical so it's it's either hot and dry not raining or it's hot and wet raining but the rainy season always used to start in september so you'd be september october november december january february with rain and then stop 
but now it's it's crazy like it might it, it didn't really rain till january this year it's just so strange and it is so hot oh my oh my god that's that's not a good news yeah I'm like oh, it's really really hot yeah yeah well i know how it feels because you here here where i live in a city called daegu and daegu is known as the hottest city in uh, wow. korea and so I know how hot does it get what's the hottest it gets for you in the summer like uh, over 40 you know oh. like 40 or 41 something like that and That's hot. you know you know it is not a yeah. good weather right yeah. so yeah and it is really oh, hot you did, you did you hear that did you hear that that was a quick boom boom overhead it's coming in yeah oh, the, i, I yeah. think the, the weather is definitely changing so much all over the planet right? yeah i guess maybe it's because of the you know global warming right yeah i think so my sister yeah. lives in france and when she first moved to france the hottest it was in the summertime was 35 36 over the last two years, it's been 45. 45. 45. And this is in Europe. It, it gets so hot that they can't go outside in the middle of the day. It's yeah, just... I know. I know. I've heard that. Like, you know, you know, some Europe, European country, like you know, in the summertime, the weather is so hot. Like yeah. it reaches 40, you know, over like 45 degrees. Yeah. So, like I've even heard that they, you know, they don't work in the daytime. They yeah. start to, you know, open all the stores and the restaurant like over maybe three or four, you know, when the sun yeah. starts to it's, go down. So it's yeah. hard to imagine like parts of Spain, southern Spain, southern France and Italy. It was, yeah, it was 45, 46 degrees in places. I oh mean, my God. it's it's mad. Completely yeah. Mad. Even like you know, thirty nine and forty one usually is killer hot, isn't it? It's, it's yeah. still like uh, you know really hot, but yeah, forty five degree that is too much, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it is. It, it's it's crazy, and it's different. You know, here once the sun goes down, it starts to cool down, right? I mean, it still stays warm in the night, but it's cooler. But where my sister is in France, it gets hotter. So it's like the heat builds up through the day. So I was at her place last summer and it was seven o'clock at night and the sun's gone down, but it is still, it's hotter. It's, it's really hard to, li to live in it as it gets so hot. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I, yeah I, I guess, you know, you guys can live without a, you know, air con or. Yeah. You know, like but that's the thing right in europe people don't have air cons oh they don't have air cons no because they never had that kind of temperature like in england nobody in england has an air con the houses in england are all built to cope with cold not with the heat they never had heat like that before it's a it's a new such a new experience for them yeah. oh oh my god yeah i guess oh, yeah. they had a they had a terrible time, you know, with one yeah. yeah. even with like, you know, 38 degrees. Yeah, 38 degrees. It was just not that high compared to Europeans temperature. But yeah, we still need air con. Like, yeah, I, I feel, you know, I, I I was like, you know, I can't live without air con. I'm, I'm going, I will, you know, how do I say, I will die in, you know, dry. You'll melt. It'll yeah, just melt like, like an ice cream. So yeah. have you traveled? Have you been, have you been overseas? Oh uh, yeah, I I, Where have uh, you been? I went outside of Korea two times. Yeah, yeah. where did you go? Yeah, the place I what the place I've been, are uh, Guam and Saipan. Yeah, those oh, are the. Okay, I've, I've never been to Guam. It's supposed to be really pretty, right? Oh yeah, it is. It is yeah. a really beautiful island, and also the good thing is that Guam was wasn't that far from uh, Korea, so it was right. easy for us to get there and yeah we had a lot of fun but it was like um what was it so yeah it, it's that it, it's been like seven years or over seven years so yeah, yeah. And well I, during during covid crazy covid time nobody traveled anywhere did they so yeah yeah 
they yeah like no one yes yeah, so i guess like the price like the airplane ticket price was super low when and now oh my god now the air, air tickets have doubled i know yeah this is lots of people oh, travel it's... outside of their country right travel uh, yeah abroad. and i don't know how because the price is so expensive my daughter went from here to she went from here to singapore singapore to london and the ticket before covid you might find a ticket for about 500 550 dollars these days the tickets are all 1000 one thousand for one right one right oh yeah my God. return return ticket but it's so expensive right yeah it is it is really expensive like and also the thing is that the inflation is happening right yeah, yes yes so it's going yeah. to get, uh you know the price is going to increase maybe you know as time goes by which is yeah. not a good news right so have you got inflation in korea as well have you noticed yeah, yeah. prices oh so it's everywhere yeah, well, right i guess it starts the, i guess you know every, every price starts to increase after the what is it called oil crisis right yeah like, yeah there the, yeah. yeah there was a time the oil was so expensive and i guess yes yeah, after the oil crisis uh yeah the product of every you know every product starts the, their price starts to increase so yes. yeah well, yeah in now, england it's the most expensive uh, people have ever known it you know gas electricity food prices everything uh, everything's gone up so much yeah i know i know especially like you know i usually find that you know these is the like the food prices become so expensive like you know because our family usually eat out during the yeah. weekend and like back then we paid like uh what is it uh when five hundred dollars for uh let's see five hundred dollars for uh you know dinner but now we're paying like you know seven hundred yeah you know, eight hundred something like that yeah oh wait a I, minute. I, oh, yeah not eight hundred dollars right yeah i guess yeah i'm confused with uh, you know the, yeah, woo. Oh, they goodness. are billionaires but yeah no i know what you mean the percentage that's gone up it, it's yeah, the yeah, same yeah. it's the same everywhere i notice it with my shopping every week you tend to buy the same stuff right and it's almost double the price just to get the same stuff yeah exactly yeah that's right yeah which is not a which is not a great news and i know the, the worst to make matters worse it's going to keep uh, increasing yeah yep there's we have to find a way right to, yeah i don't know how i'm not very good at economics but i hope there's a way yeah, I, hope so too. Uh, I think definitely in, in the UK, it's really, it's reached its maximum for people, you know, it's just too much. It's, it's not good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, we only have uh, 20 <gasps> seconds. 20 seconds. Yeah, but listen, I... your English is amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Really, so much. congratulations to be your yeah. age and to be able to handle yourself and talk to a total stranger for 30 minutes. Well, Amazing. thank you so much for saying that. I really yeah. appreciate it. Well, well I hope done. you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Take care.